My name is Talia Rose, I'm a medical device engineer and I work in the research and development team at Vaxis in the Translational Research Institute. My role as a medical device engineer is in research and development. I get to do a lot of design work, iterating through the design of the NanoPatch. The NanoPatch is a micro needle array that was originally developed in the University of Queensland and that research is being translated here at Vaxis into a commercial product. Part of my job here at Vaxis is looking at printing technology for applying a vaccine onto the nanopatch. So that can be a variety of different things, everything from lasers to image processing, running radioactive experiments to making sure we have exactly the right amount of dose for a patient. Also looking at the life cycle and sustainability of the product that we're making. How do we go about making sure that after the nanopatch is used to deliver a vaccine, make sure that it's able to be recycled, is it contaminated waste, and ensuring that the long-term sustainability of the product is something something that we design for as well. One of the things that makes me really excited to go to work is the fact that I get to work on things that have never been done before. Vaxis has shown that we're able to have a flu vaccine stable at 40 degrees Celsius for over 12 months. So what that means is that you no longer need to refrigerate the vaccine, which is absolutely a huge impact in terms of transporting the vaccine around the world. So that's something that really motivates me to come to work is knowing that the products that I'm working on and my technical expertise can contribute towards a global health goal. One of the reasons that I chose to study at the University of Queensland is that it has an incredibly highly ranked engineering program. On top of that, I also had the opportunity to undertake a dual program so I could study both science and engineering. Studying a dual program in science and engineering, as well as a dual degree in biomedical and electrical engineering, meant that I could work at the intersection of science, medicine and engineering, and the job that I'm doing right now is exactly that. It's really exciting to be able to use my degree and all of the facets that I could study at UQ. Some of my best memories of studying at UQ were actually not at UQ. A lot of the opportunities that I had by studying at the University of Queensland meant that I spent a lot of time abroad. I was able to complete an internship in Cambodia, a student exchange to Singapore, as well as a short-term study program in China. And so within a five-year degree, I was able to have so many different opportunities elsewhere with different organizations, companies, different universities, and that kind of diversity in my learning and training was incredibly useful. I think that traditionally a lot of people imagine bridges and hard hats when they're thinking of engineering, but there's so many more options. I get to work in optics, in electronics, formulation, microfluidics, and so it's a really exciting opportunity um, within just one stream of engineering to work on such a diverse range of topics.